Elon football begins a new week of practice ranked the same as last week in the NCAA FCS rankings, but moved from third to second in the Colonial Athletic Association rankings. Saturday's win against Towson was all thanks to his defense and special teams. Elon has only allowed six points in the second half to its opponents through the four games before Saturday. Not much changed here after giving up just one touchdown in the first half, the defense only allowed one field goal in the second half. Head coach Tony Trishiani praised his players and staff for their ability to make adjustments in the second half of the game. Um, you know, our, our defensive staff has just done a, a really good job there of, of getting our guys settled down. Honestly, we, we really tackle much better in the second half too. Guys are flying around, you get a better feel, and um, you know, guys are playing hard. The defense not only held Towson to 10 points during the game, but it forced five turnovers and had four sacks on the day. Elon Sr. and linebacker Marcus Hillman says after the first turnover, it gets a feel for the opponent to try and force more turnovers. That's what we say. We say uh, in our defensive room, we say turnovers, they come in bunches. You know, once you get one, that's what we were saying on the sideline. They just continue to come to us. Thanks to the defensive efforts, the offense was able to control the ball the majority of the game. Elon Sr. and wide receiver Jackson Parham finished the game with seven receptions for 152 yards. Param says the wide receiver group has some strong offensive players and works together to help score and control the game. Just running routes to the best of your ability and trust Matt, you know what I'm saying, the old line, running backs, tight ends, everybody's going to do their job. Being ranked in the top 25 can cause pressure on players as opponents prepare for the game. Patricia and I said the Colonial Athletic Association is always competitive, no matter who Elon plays. In the CAA, I don't care what your record is, you go into every week, it's just a CAA game. Tristiani says the team's next opponent, Rhode Island, isn't looking at Elon's ranking. I don't think Rhode Island is going to look at us and say, we need to take down the whatever ranked team. You know, they're going to be playing at home. They're going to want to beat Elon. The defense will look to continue its performance into Saturday to help Elon move to six wins in a row, which they haven't done since 2017. The Saturday's game is an away game and kickoff is set for 1 p.m. Rhode Island is currently 3-2 overall and 1-1 one one in the conference.